Let's go around dudes and make this video and whatnot um, and stuff. Hold on. I want one of my lighters in my mom's house. She probably already knows. <laughs> so I hope she's yelling me about it. Anyways, I went to go visit my dad, and of course, she had like the Mormon music playing and the Tabernacle Choir and all that bullshit. Gave him some dough, visited my dog, rolled out for him, could yell at me. Case dismissed. All right. Um. I will say, I will say, I took a look at myself in like one of the longer mirrors. I was like, I, I also want to preface this. Like, I was already going to do this before she started annoying me about this. All right, like, I found my little foreman girl, right? Because like, I don't, fuck, I got shit all over it from Greece and like twenty years ago and shit. Like like, I don't care what you guys call it nowadays. Someone tried to tell me that shit I was talking about before. Like, oh, so you used to do intermittent fasting? Fuck off. No, I don't. Why are you putting all these fancy words on it? It's called eating only when you're hungry. Because it's like, what's that joke? I forgot who it was who said it. But there was that joke, you know, like, like if you'd be in shape too if you had to, you know, like hunt a pint of haagen for 50 miles before you ate it. You know, it's, we have access to food, it's so easy. Um, but anyway, so like, back in the day, especially going to fights, it was just meat, and we'll call it natural, nat natural eating. You know, like, if you can buy it in like an Amish market, eat it. If you can't, don't, you know, like, beef, steak, that's natural, you know, like, a, a Big Mac, it's not natural, you know, so, like, fry up some chicken, fry up some sausages, fry up some beef, you know, wrap it in lettuce if you're in a rush, otherwise, chop it up and put it on a salad, don't use any dressing, eat it plain, don't do all that shit to your stomach, just eat it, fiber, fiber and protein, right, you know, I saw a picture, uh, or I saw, like, look, in, in our minds, we always remember us uh, one way, and then I saw myself, and I was like, ah, oh, damn it, for real, I've got a little bit more ways to go. Bullshit. But I will say this, though. I'm wearing clothes that I'm wearing again just before I left Charlottesville. So I was like 25, 26 around then. So I'm almost back to when I was 17. I also want to point out that none of this has anything to do with Tiffany giving me shit about it. I know she's very, she's being very polite about it. I know what she's saying. She's saying she has all these dudes who are like massively in shape on her all the time. I'm like, well, I don't give a shit. A, a, I can knock them out. I'm not worried about it. Like, you have to understand something. Every single time I've had a really hot girlfriend, they always, like, like even Pi, like, that really hot Korean bitch who was, uh, uh, also, I think, looking back at it, I think she might have been an escort. Uh, oops. Which is also probably why the police recruited me into all that shit. Oh, wow. Uh, she got so lucky. Oh, God. She probably handed it off to me. She, that, she probably handed me off to them. That bitch was so sneaky. Anyways. Uh, she would always tell me how useful I was. And then she would always like run to me. And there was always like some crazy dude who was trying to like find her. And I had to like take care of it and all that bullshit, but the, the, there's even a picture, if you can find it, I'm sure there's pictures of it on my Facebook site, I can't even log into anymore, there's like pictures of her and me together, and I'm not like out of shape, but I'm not like in the best shape, but I'm like, cl cl clinically I would be overweight in the pictures, and uh, you know, like by, I'm like, I think, I think every size for dudes is like, like a range of 40 pounds, like there's like a, a 40 pound range of being like normal, then a 40 pound range of being overweight, and then a 40 pound range of being obese, and then after that, it's morbidly obese, and after that, it's like, good God, what the fuck are you doing yourself, right? So I was like clinically overweight, not obese, just overweight, and everyone couldn't believe it. They're like, how did you get that super petite Korean bitch if you're like some bum who lives on a couch and has no job and no money? And I'm like, ah, you have to ask her. But so like, the thing is, like, I'm not doing it. For, and technically, I, 
like she started telling people we were dating before I even got into shape or whatever. So it's not about I'm doing it honestly because let's like look. You need to get into shape just for yourself. And I don't want to put anyone on blast. And I'm not trying to open up any deep wounds or anything like that. But uh, you're, I keep saying it, your blood flow to your, it was directly affected by your performance. So if you have more blood flow to your, then you're going to just, for yourself, you'll have a better experience. And I don't want to, and I'm not making any promises or whatever. Uh, this is why I say she's like, all her songs, like, I'm for it again, again, again. It's like, I think she's like, making it up. I don't think she really understands what good sex is. It's kind of like, again, like the uh, good girl trying to act bad. It's almost like, you know, like when you're in high school and people try to pretend that they've had sex. It's like, oh, guys, I had the sex last night. It was so good. Oh, man, me and my girl, we had so much the sex. It's like, man, shut the fuck up. You didn't do anything. You can tell. Right? <laughs> but uh, anyway, so it's like she's singing all these songs about like, uh, like, I don't think she's really done. I mean, I'm sure she's not innocent, but like, I don't think she's in, I, I, I think she's been disappointed a whole lot, is what it sounds like, right? But anyways, so... One of the girls I was being active with before the whole Tiffany thing started, and I had cut it off with all of them, was, um... um uh, she pointed out to me that it was getting thicker and longer over the course of the the hookup or whatever you want to call it. And I was like, explain to her, explain to you, how like, it's basically it, for every it, three inches or whatever you can lose off your waist, it's anywhere from an inch to an inch and a half that you add to your thingamajiggy. So there's a reason why I'm saying I'm trying to lose at least six inches off of my waist and then I'll be happy again because that's that will actually put me back in fighting shape. But anyways, so the thing is, uh, 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 this girl was already obsessed with me, and then one day we're like fooling around, and I should you not, she just starts screaming and tells me that I found her second spot, and I was like, what do you mean? And she's like, you found the spot beyond my spot, and I was like, oh shit. And then, I don't know why, but I pushed it a little bit more, and apparently there's even a third spot. So, um, something tells me that if I can get back into fighting shape, I might be able to find something beyond the third spot. That's all I'm saying. And also, a little bit of it is, it's like, I feel a little like, hate to go into it, but it's like, I feel like some of my the fun that I could have had was stolen from me because all the stupid Mormon restrictions. And I'm not going to get into it all. Like, there are aspects of religion that I think are good, but there's a whole bunch of it that I think is wrong. It's like, I think basically you should, the same way you learn about, like, it's, religion should be like case law. Like, this religion did this, and then this happened. And then this religion did that, and then this happened. And what did we learn from it? Well, this part of it is good, and this part of it is bad. And that's how you know that people are full of shit and things like that. But anyways, the point I'm saying is, I guess I get it. Like, I know I could get in a better shape. Like, I, I know that. Other thing is, it's like, I really am just busy as fuck. That's the other thing. So basically, if I understand correctly... The reason why she's been breaking my balls for this whole fucking time is because she's been... She, look. I think it's because of, I smoke so much, which is, no, I don't, all the, uh, all, 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 allegedly, and that's why none of these YouTube channels are linked to any of my actual emails and whatnot, but, like, what, what I said, I have to recertify. I think she thought that I was talking about some kind of, like, blockchain smart contract, whatever the fuck. No. When I said I need to recertify, I meant that once every three years for my career in cybersecurity, I have to either retake the certs I already took to a certain extent to prove that I retained the knowledge or get a new higher level cert. Then 
And then kind of summarizing here, she's like, always oh, asking me why I'm so busy and whatnot. I'm like, there is negative unemployment in my career field. Okay, I am working. They wanted me to work three jobs. That's how negative unemployment there is in this field. They cannot find enough people to pay enough money. Like they're they're throwing money at you in this field. They're like, we need you, please, right? On top of that, I don't want to go into it, but one of my jobs knows that even though it's very prestigious and all that bullshit, they tell me it's a lot of it's a lot of people bullshit, and I don't like people bullshit. I'd rather just like do the coding and shit like that, and then like. I can present to like the board and all that bullshit, but I don't want to like talk about your vacation and where you took the kids for Father's Day. I don't give a shit about all of that. And I know it's supposed to be like team building and I don't give a shit. I hate to say it, I don't give a shit. I try to, but I don't think there is enough drugs in the world for me to give a shit. I don't think so. Like. I used to, I hate to say it like this, when I was doing the uh, Sting Ops, they used to give me this, I can't even find it, I actually used to show girls this because they would think it was sexy. They gave me this thing that said I was about to break the law, certain narcotics laws, so I actually would make my own, I would call them party time mentats, I would combine barbiturates and whatnot, and even on those things, like one time I was on party time mentats, quote unquote, and I had somehow was driving on the beltway. I had hit someone's car because I fell asleep while I was driving. I just can't believe, allegedly, I can't believe this happened. And I woke up because I hit their car. Instead of pulling over, I just sped off. And I was like, let me get to Maryland as fast as I can. In Maryland, I got pulled over. And for some reason, I took my boots off while I was driving. And I was talking to the state trooper and convincing them that I was responding to an emergency and that I had a badge and I had to go right now or things were going to explode. And that only reason why I was even driving was because you could tell that the car is damaged for previous damage, but I just need to get there and my speedometer doesn't work, which is why I'm speeding. And I thought I was going to speed limit and look, I'm not wearing shoes. So I don't accidentally push too fast on the pedal. And the officer is just like, and I think what it really was is that there's no way they could prove that it was me who hit that car, so they let me go. And I was like, I can't believe that happened. But it was the party time mentats. My charisma was like plus five at the time. But whatever I was talking about before, even on then, no. But anyways. Yeah. Um, and also... I don't do any of that shit anymore. I really don't because I detoxify with the herb and that's just it. And every single time I meet someone who's on crazy shit like Lexapro and all that bullshit, they detoxify on the herb. And even if you want to get off the herb, it's no big deal. You just get off the herb. Like if, if, you, if, you, if you're like on like opioids and you quit cold turkey, you might die. If you're on this and you quit cold turkey, yeah, you, know, you, might, you might really be a little pissed off. But that's pretty much about it. You know, you're like, oh, damn it. I'm going to go watch cartoons. That's pretty much what it is, right? Anyways, what was I talking about? Who cares, right? Oh, yeah, cyber shit. Anyways, look, you guys don't understand. They're throwing money at you. The reason why I'm making the money I'm making right now is because of the certificate. Like, the, like the, the degree helps, definitely. If I got a master's degree, even better. If I got a master's degree and a PhD in business administration, I could be like a CTO or something like that, right? That would be fucking rad, right? Then you're talking like half a million plus a year minimum, shit like that, right? I can't even get into it. But this is the thing. It's like, I keep saying this and I don't think they understand it. And I think this is why I'm able to get girls that are like, as hot as they are, even though, I mean, I'll, I'll admit, like, I could put more effort into my appearance, I just have other shit to do, right? It, it, uh, it's because I more than make up for it in my ability to do things no one else can do, right? 
any of these other douchey losers at these fucking barbecues try to make you jealous out or whatever the fuck that you think they are going to be up doing client code review on a Saturday night because they're trying to make a principal as opposed to senior associate. No, they're not. They're going to fucking, they're, they're probably buying your CDs. I, I, I might download it and if I listen to it, I might buy one for each of you. I might buy eight copies to support one for each of you if I enjoy it all. But like right now, I think you guys are selling enough of them, and I think it doesn't even go to you all. I'd be more inclined to buy your NFTs because it would just go directly to you. But I'll get into that later. But whatever. The thing I'm saying is, what am I saying? This is some good shit. Is what I'm saying. What's I talking about? NFTs. And I probably bought like a hundred thousand dollars, a hundred thousand T fuel worth of NFTs at this point. Okay, uh, so the thing is, it's like, but you've only got to do this once every three years, right? So, and again, this is what I'm saying. Like, even when like one of my first client engagements, I sat down and everyone was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, hey, we got no change management. We, we were, we're still using legacy applications. We don't have a CI, CD pipeline. Oh, what the fuck's going on? And I found out what it was, was terminology. Even like I was saying earlier, uh, a few months ago, I did that one job interview and they basically got pissy at me. And they were like, huh, you don't know about, about uh, uh, shit, what was it? Container escapes, and I was like, I called it an implementation attack. It's the same fucking thing. It's leaking the cryptographic key so you can use it to break out the fucking container. What the fuck? These people, and then like, and then like, even like, I don't want to get into it. They like contacted me and wanted me to give them a survey on the people who interviewed me, and I was like, I don't give a fuck. Just leave me alone. Fucking go away. Ah. But anyways, uh, um, it's terminology. And so I had a client engagement with like sit down and the very, 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 very first meeting was nothing but arguing. So the second meeting, we sat down and it was like, okay, I had graph paper. That's how, that's how precise I was. I was like, when you say laugh, are you referring to the fucking Barracuda, the Cisco, whatever the fuck? Are you talking about the open source elk stock? Like what, what, what are we talking about here? Oh, we're using two of these. Okay. So if you say this, it can mean this or this. Let's define this, please. If you say this, how about it means that? If you say that, then it will mean this. Everyone agree? Okay, boom. Okay, so pull up Visio, drag, drag and drop. Okay, this is the, this is the, that. Bring up the architectural design. That's the kind of shit you have to do, right? But then once you get it all hashed out, then everyone's on the same page, all right? So I hope. Me and her just got on the same page because she's over here thinking I'm blowing her off because she's like, doc check new certifications don't take more than an hour. I'm like, I know that shit. And that's the other thing. I, I think she's finally starting to get that too. I saw that article, I got to dig it up if I can find it, that said that in Stanford now, there are more people who are signing up for intro to cryptography, for intro to blockchain and cryptocurrency than there are for intro to computer science. So all the shit she's reading about and doing case studies on is literally what I've been doing for the past 10 years, okay? So when you read about something going on in the Silk Road and all that bullshit allegedly, you're reading about my antics. You're reading about some of my friends being arrested for life and shit like that. Like, you read, it's like, I can't even get into it. It's like... This is why sometimes I get a little upset, I think, also, because she thinks it's cute, and I'm like, you're bringing up, like past traumas because you think it's trendy and I don't even think you realize it and whatnot. But, um, whatever. But, the, what was I talking about? Blockchain, cryptocurrency, uh, fuck. Cybersecurity. Blockchain is being implemented in the cybersecurity as well. This thing's going on way too 20 minutes and making a 30 minute video. Anyways. No. Once every three years, you have to recertify. Okay, I've been kind of just like spinning my wheels and wasting time this past couple of years, mainly because I was doing other shit and playing crypto. I was trading then. Okay, even though the market's down, I'm still up 200%. Yes, yes, thank you for pointing that out to me. I'm sorry, I'm still up. She pointed out to me that I'm still up 200x, even though the market is down. Yes, thank you very much. I know that. 
That's why I'm focusing on my career now, so that way as I can, the market is down, I can keep on buying it. Everyone else is freaking out because all they had was their moonshot in crypto. That was one of my power plays. I've got my silver. I've got my career. I've got my education. All right. I'm not one of these donks. It's just so annoying. It's like I, I really I, I, I tell girls listen and they don't believe me. I'm like you're used to being some fucking adult kids experiment, but when you're ready to graduate to being a grown man's lover, you just let me know and I'll take it from there. And hopefully she's letting me know. But anyways, that's the other thing. She's playing these stupid sushi tampon games and all her fucking career things are always fucking with each other on it. She either let it slip or did it on purpose, but she's using some kind of a face changer app. I knew it. I knew it. But anyways. Look, other things like should you get into better shape? Yes, you should always get into better shape. Alright? Do it for yourself. Don't do it for some Korean bitch, alright? Do it because you want to be in shape. Other thing I want to say is you guys have to understand something. Uh, they're gonna do whatever you tell them. You just have to tell them the right way. This is what I'm talking about. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this dude. Watch this dude. Oh, shit. Anyway, yeah. You th you th you you think that he gives a fuck about going on a diet? You think he gives a like, like coffee? Why don't you eat more mangoes? He's like, bitch, go make me some deep fried chicken. Like, make me two of them for, for fucking even bothering me. You know, you're getting fat, by the way. Last time I saw you, you were a size zero. What are you, a size two now? That's, that's what it is. Like, I'm not doing any of this sh get into shape shit for her, okay? She slid into my DMs about 10 pounds ago, all right? 10 pounds heavier ago, all right? Something tells me she's probably been through, like, a whole bunch of dudes who are nothing but, like, look at my abs, and she's like, uh, they're losers. But her pet project is she wants to cook for me and clean for me so I can get into better shape. There's my forming grill. But, like, uh, this bitch was, like, once I started talking, like, business and, like, economics to her, it's, like, I could feel her get wet across the Internet. She was, like, oh, I understand. It's, like, yes, I'm in the big leagues. Everyone else she deals with is, like, thinks that being in Manhattan means you're in the big leagues. That just means you're being overpriced everything you buy. I'm actually in the big leagues. I swim with the big fishes and I knock them out. That's just what it is. But anyways, guys, that's my thing for today. Peace out.